Here are my predictions for game week one of the Euros. Since Nagelsmann took over Germany, he has beat France, Netherlands, Greece and completely changed this German side. Scotland have won one in the last nine and seem to be struggling recently. I fully expect Germany to win. I'm going to go for a comfortable 2-0 German victory. And now moving on to the second game in Group A, it's Hungary versus Switzerland. For me, Hungary are the dark horses of this tournament and a lot of people seem to agree with me. Since September 2022, they have 10 wins, 5 draws and just 1 loss. Switzerland have got some quality players like Akanji, Shah, Summer. Jacker. But my prediction for this game is Hungary 3, Switzerland 2. Moving on to Group B, in the group of death, we have got Spain versus Croatia. Starting off with Spain, where they have one loss in 11 and scored 37 goals in these games. With players like Pedri, Morata, Rodri, they're going to be one of the favourites to win this whole competition. Croatia just beat Portugal in the most recent friendly and have one of the best midfields in the whole world. This game's going to be the battle of the midfield, but I think Spain edge it 2-1. Next up is Italy versus Albania. Italy have only lost one in the last 11, but my issue with the Italian squad is that players like Benucci and Chiellini have retired and it's definitely getting a lot worse. They've still got players like Chiesa, Jorginho, Bastoni. Albania are a very strong side and I can see Italy nicking it 1-0. Moving on to Group C where the first game we have got is Slovenia versus Denmark. Denmark have got a quality squad but the thing what worries me is the last performance in the World Cup. Slovenia have Oblak, a great goalkeeper and it's going to be a very tough game for Denmark. I'm going to go a bit of an upset and say Slovenia get a draw, 1-1. Now let's move on to the big one, Serbia versus England. There's no surprise that we're favourites to win this competition. With players like Jude Bellingham, Harry Kane, Bakayo Saka, Phil Foden. This squad is actually unreal. Serbia's defence is quite weak and England's attack is very good, so I can see us beating Serbia 3-1. Is it going to come home? We'll find out. Next up is Netherlands versus Poland. And Netherlands have kept six clean sheets in the last seven games and won six out of seven. The Dutch are one of the favourites to win this competition with one of the best defences in the whole entire Euros. Poland had a definition of a one-man team. Lewandowski's going to carry him. I think he'll score, but I'll go for Poland 1, Netherlands 3. Next up, we have got Austria versus France. And don't get me wrong, Austria are a decent team, but nothing compared to France. I don't really need to say much about France. Mbappe alone could probably win this game. I'll go Austria nil, France 4. Moving on to Group E, where we have got Belgium versus Slovakia. Slovakia have got a decent defence with players like Skriniar, but I think Belgium will be too much for them. Lukaku and KDB's quality will show why they are too good for Slovakia and I'll go 2-0 Belgium. Next up is Ukraine versus Romania and as much as I think Ukraine have a quality squad, quality players and I think they'll do well in this Euros, I think this game will end 0-0. I think this game will be quite boring, scrappy, and I can see it being a very slow scoring. So yeah, that's why I went for 0-0. Moving on to the last group, where the first game we have got in this group is Turkey versus Georgia. This is Georgia's first international tournament, and I can't see them doing that well. Turkey have got Aragula, and I can see them doing well in this tournament. I think I'm going to go 3-0 Turkey, which is a big scoreline. But I think Turkey are going to really be forming this game. The last game on match day one is Portugal versus Czechia. And Czechia have got players like Schick and Suchek. But I can probably see Portugal winning maybe 2-0 or 1-0. Because they've just got that extra bit of quality about them. They've got such a balanced squad with attack and defence. And with it being Ronaldo's last tournament, I can probably see them so winning. So yeah, to end off this match day one predictions, I'm going to go for a 2-0 Portugal win. Let me know what you think in the comments, if you disagree or agree. And yeah, make sure to like and subscribe. And yeah, bye.